Something many people don't know is that most of the water outside of Earth is found on moons beyond Jupiter. NASA reveals first real images of Europa, and they prove that this moon of Jupiter is home to a massive ocean of salt water and possibly life. You may already know the moon Europa from a popular computer game, and now we'll show you why that computer game might be right. Europa, the discovery of the icy moon. The discovery of Jupiter's moon Europa was made in 1610 by the famous Italian scholar Galileo Galilei. With the help of a relatively simple telescope, Galileo, a passionate astronomer and naturalist, focused his gaze on the planet Jupiter and discovered four large moons, which we know today as the Galilean moons. Strictly speaking, these are the moons Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. The name Europa comes from Greek mythology, Europa was a Phoenician princess who was desired by Zeus, the father of the gods. In a famous legend, Zeus transformed himself into a bull to kidnap Europa and take her across the sea to Crete, where she became the mother of King Minos. Jupiter is the Roman equivalent of Zeus and Io. Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto are all mystical figures of the Greek and Roman gods. Europa is the smallest of the four Galilean moons and the sixth largest moon in the entire solar system. With a diameter of about 3,121 kilometers, it is slightly smaller than our own moon. Despite its smaller size, Europa is a fascinating object of study for astronomers and space explorers. Europa's surface is mainly covered by ice, making Europa an icy moon. The thick, icy crust is crisscrossed by numerous cracks, crevices, and furrows. The animated upper part of Europa soon led researchers to conclude that there must be pronounced geologic activity inside the moon. The first photos taken of Europa by the Galileo spacecraft showed strong evidence that an ocean of liquid water exists beneath this icy surface, possibly containing more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. Europa's reflectivity, or albedo, is one of the highest in the solar system. As a result, Europa shines very brightly. The reason for this is its icy, relatively young, and therefore little weathered surface, which reflects a lot of sunlight. Scientists know very little about the tidal forces. Presumably, they are triggered by the proximity to Jupiter. The stress relationship with its planet stretches and expands the moon, creating geothermal activity beneath the surface. This geothermal activity, in turn, could play an important role in maintaining the liquid ocean beneath the icy crust. The potential subsurface ocean and the possibility of life will soon be explored by a new NASA mission. Unique Geological Activity Geological activity, such as movements of crusts and plates, heat in the interior, or even different layers of rock, ice, magma, or hot water springs, are far from a given in the solar system. There are planets and moons that are almost solidified, their cores behave quite differently than, for example, the very hot and active core of the Earth, or the objects have, like many moons, no real active core at all. The surface of Europa paints a very animated picture of a fascinating mosaic of cracks, fissures, and icy plains. These geologic features are not accidental, but the result of intense geologic activity taking place deep beneath the moon's icy surface. There must be an interesting connection between the heat within, the vast ocean suspected to be beneath Europa's icy crust, and the tidal forces of Jupiter. Again, it's Galileo's images that allow accurate observations for the first time. Later, observations by Hubble showed changes in the upper layers that took place in a few years. So, the Moon is still active and changes its face constantly. The tidal forces caused by Jupiter's gravity generate heat through friction. This heat could cause ice at the base of the crust to melt and water to flow into an ocean below. Presumably, geothermal energy causes water from the ocean to rise to the surface, constantly forming new layers of ice. Pronounced cryovolcanism drives water or other liquid substances from the interior of the moon to the surface. According to calculations, this cryovolcanism could be a source for the emergence of life on the moon. Life despite extreme radiation Life on Europa sounds promising, but there's a small catch that scientists don't yet know how it affects the emergence of life. Europa moves in an extremely intense radiation belt from Jupiter. This radiation is so intense 
that it would be lethal for us humans if we were to stay near the moon without sufficient protection. The radiation comes mainly from the myriads of charged particles that cavort in Jupiter's magnetic field. Despite these extreme conditions, there are theories that suggest, or even prove, that microorganisms can live in such conditions. Proof of this is that on our Earth, where researchers have found microbes in the vicinity of strong radiation sources that easily defy these conditions, indeed, the microbes seem to thrive near the radiation. These extremophile organisms are the subject of much research. Researchers want to know more about how these simple life forms have managed to withstand the harmful effects of radiation and reproduce in such hostile environments. It's fascinating that despite the extreme conditions that exist on Europa, the possibility of life absolutely exists. The combination of geological activity, the presence of an ocean beneath the surface, and the extreme radiation makes Europa one of the most interesting places in our solar system to search for extraterrestrial life. Salt keeps water liquid. Salt water has a very different freezing point than fresh water. Analyses of Europa's light spectrum have shown that there must be salt on the surface of the moon. This salt could indicate that Europa's subsurface ocean is also salty, much like the oceans of Earth. The discovery of salt on Europa's surface is particularly exciting because salt, when combined with water, is often considered an indicator of potential life. Salty oceans on Earth host a variety of life forms, from tiny microorganisms to large marine animals. We humans and all animals that live on land today also evolved from creatures living in salt water. The presence of salt in the waters of Europa would mean that optimal conditions for life could exist here as well, and that there may be a colorful variety of creatures in the deep. In Antarctica, drilling has shown that completely self-sufficient biosystems thrive under one kilometer thick ice, producing unique creatures and a great abundance of life forms to boot. This life thrives in the cold and without light here on Earth. Finds like these give researchers renewed courage not to give up hope of finding extraterrestrial life. The salty nature of the water could also indicate that Europa's ocean is in constant interaction with the rocks on the ocean floor. On Earth, interactions such as these release important minerals and nutrients into the ocean that are necessary for the origin and maintenance of life. It remains to be seen what the planned JUICE mission will reveal about Europa's secrets and its potential as a home for extraterrestrial life. Is Europa a new Earth? Probably quite a few of you know the popular computer game Destiny 2 Beyond Light, and then you already know the moon Europa. In the expansion pack of the game, Destiny 2, Europa is introduced as a new icy frontier land. As a player, you will be able to explore the frozen wastelands, deep canyons, and ancient facilities built by humanity that are now occupied by enemy factions. The representation of Europa in the game is not just an icy wilderness, the moon is a place full of secrets and hidden technologies. The ruins of ancient civilizations and the presence of advanced technology scattered throughout the ice fields paint a picture of a moon that has been visited by many species. But can the game become truth, and can we humans eventually settle there? Europa has an extremely thin atmosphere, composed mainly of oxygen, but it's very likely much too thin to support the breathing of us humans. We have already talked about the intense radiation. It's not known whether or how long humans can endure it. What is certain in any case is that humans could exist on the moon only with artificially created life support systems. For humans, moreover, the gravity on the moon would take some getting used to. With only 13.4% of the gravity on Earth's surface, humans would be much lighter there. Someone who weighs 100 kilograms on Earth would weigh only about 13.4 kilograms on Europa. Visitors would therefore find it difficult to move around, muscles would deteriorate in the long term, and presumably our bones would also suffer quite a bit. If visitors to Europa were to return to Earth, they would have to expect to feel unusually heavy. Europa and the JUICE mission JUICE stands for Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer and is ESA's latest stroke of genius. The European Space Agency is going heavy and launched its new stroke of genius on April 14, 2023 from the Guiana Space Center in French Guiana. The main goal of the JUICE mission is to study Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto. All of these moons harbor large amounts of water and are potential habitats. 
The probe will study all three moons up close and give us new impressions of Jupiter itself. The main objective of the JUICE mission is to study the conditions for planet formation and the potential for life beyond Earth in the icy moons of the outer solar system. Europa is the focus of the mission, and JUICE may bring entirely new clues to traces of life. When the probe arrives after several years of flight, it will fly over the moons at close range and very likely give us better photos than ever before. Now that researchers know what to look for, JUICE could be designed and equipped to take measurements that point to specific minerals and biomarkers. Whether the mission can already provide evidence of life on Europa remains to be seen. NASA is also currently planning a mission to put ice drills on the moon. Intelligent and nearly autonomous drilling systems will bore into the depths of the ice, using camera systems and perhaps mini submarines to search for life. Subscribe to our channel now and look forward to upcoming video hits.